All right, so I finally made it back to be able to get this thing cleaned and check out part one. Uh, and that was back in July. Uh, we're October now. Yeah, this thing nasty. So we're gonna get all this ice out and, uh, and get it clean. Man, look at how nasty this is underneath this uh, rolling part. This thing ain't been cleaned in a long time, man. Yeah, Cool man, there it all is. Take some, uh, what you call it, over here, this. Scale remover for ice machines, any kind of de-scaler. The nickel set of stuff won't really work too well to, to really eat this stuff apart. You want something that's powerful. So, you know, you ain't trying to play no games with this stuff. You want whatever you're going to be using to work and to work well. So, yeah. That's just my take on it. It's harder to have a pump up sprayer, honestly, but I don't do this really every day. So, I don't have one, but if I do it more often, or if I was just, you know, made of money, I, I, I'd have got one, but I didn't either. So, it's all good. Might need to make this a little bit stronger, so I think I'm going to. Doesn't take much. Doesn't take much at all. So, you see how it's working? Take the brush. Yeah, it's actually working pretty good the way I had it. You get the right kind of cleaner, you don't need any kind of uh, you don't need any kind of like abrasive or anything. That stuff just comes right off if you got the right cleaner and the right mixture. And like I said, it probably needs to be a little bit more concentrated. So yeah. So it'll work even better now. Oh yeah, this stuff that gets on your skin or it, it hurts, so be careful. Like, I don't even have my glasses on. I need to put my freaking glasses on because shit's getting my eye, man. It'll really hurt. I have to rinse it out for like 10 minutes or something. Yeah.
probably slime somewhere. And there it is. Slime. Alright, so I've been scrubbing for like an hour. This is uh, on the top. Up here. You can see. It's pretty nasty. And then of course in here. Whew, that's pretty bad. Alright, it is 1.30 now. And I've been cleaning up down here. See, it looks uh, a little better. Alright, so I've got it. Panel side panels off. You can see it's just freaking mess up here. I don't think I'm going to take this apart, disassemble it. Uh, but I am going to do the best I can to clean all this crap off. Because, you see, it's, it is a mess. So, that's what I'm doing. Lots of fun here. I can't record that as much of it as I would like want to. But I'm trying to get what I can to so It's just hard because I can call and like it's like dangerous and stuff. And I don't want to get any of this stuff in my eye too. But you know I do what I can do to get y'all some footage. Alright so I just kind of uh brushed it all and rinsed it. Where it's intruded all the way, even around the back. I still got to spray it out there, but uh, there's some big globs of slime, as you could call it. But what I want you all to see is you see how the aluminum, you see what's happening to it? It looks like it has a disease almost. That's not slime either, though. I don't know what that's called. But when your aluminum is starting to do that, it looks like it has chicken pox or something. And this thing is just, there's really not much more you can do for it. You can clean it all you want, but be careful. You know, because it, it's just, it's falling apart. It's like an oxidizing evaporator coil. And that's just my opinion. That's not any kind of fact that any manufacturer told me. That's just my opinion. So pretty much, this cleaning serves more the ice bin and the surrounding area because of how nasty it was and not maintained. That gets more benefit, sort of, than what the machine's gonna get. I am gonna run this nickel safe cleaner through it. See here, this thing says, cleaning procedure. Okay, keep evaporate, blah, 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 blah. Only a nickel safe solution. So here I got scale remover that is nickel safe. All right, so we know that it's nickel safe. What we got? Turn the power switch off, which I have done. Number two, open flaker control panel and turn off the delay timer knob fully clockwise to 30 minutes run time. Okay, let's see if we can locate that. Okay, I think so. I got that cover off. Looks like off delay setting. That's what that said, right? All right, so it said rotate this thing. So it said rotate this thing fully clockwise to 30. So, all right, 30. Okay, number three, remove all ice from the bin. I have done that. Number four, close off the water supply at the shutoff valve. I have done that too. In two places, right there actually, and uh, that in two. Open flicker stop valve to allow water to exit from the water sump. That I have done. Okay, so that is over here. Number six, prepare approved cleaning solution by following the manufacturer's instructions. That's really interesting, you know, because they're the manufacturer. This is the this is the uh, how Howie ice freezer ice flaker. They say to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Well, guess who that is? You're the manufacturer. So it would be nice if uh, they would tell me how concentrated they wanted me to do it. But whatever. 
so just kind of got to use your best judgment. So it doesn't say anywhere on here how concentrated to make the chemical. That doesn't tell you how to clean it. Yeah, so it looks like we're on our own here. All right, so this thing says let it run for 30 minutes right here, number eight. Okay, so I've got my solution. So after I drained the sump, which I just did, they want me to close it back up. So I'm closing it, and I'm going to put my descale solution in the sump here. So close it. Got me some solution here. There we go, now I can get that video button out of your face. Alright, so I'm gonna run this stuff through here. It's just taking me forever to do it on camera. I just took that battery. Alright, so we're striking this awesome stuff through here to hopefully get it clean a little bit. Yep. Alright, it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna shut this thing off. It should be shutting off actually itself here pretty soon. I guess I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna wait for it to shut off. Got this uh, second container that I need to clean. See the difference in the two after I cleaned them? Dang, look at that. Shit, man, that is gross. What a difference.
know if you'll be able to see this or not, but this stuff is this the scaler, it's cool. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Let's see what it's supposed to scale. It freaking annihilates it, man. This stuff is mixed like like ten parts water, one part the scale. But you see how it just starts annihilating it, dude? It annihilates it, man. Look at that. There's like no other way to get scale off a good way besides using descaler. Look at that, that's awesome. Wanna see it go again? Check it out doesn't come off with, a, with one of these, all right? Okay. Descaler. 